What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Mutt 22 gameplay. In this gameplay, we're going to be actually doing a nice little challenge video for you guys today. And if you've been playing a lot of Madden uh, in the past couple of days, uh, maybe even the last week, you know there's this new little meta run play with the quarterback that's pretty OP. It's RPO zone peak and uh, I believe it might be getting patched very soon. At least I hope because it's way too OP. Um, and that's what we're going to be rocking out with today. I got Daniel Jones. I'm going to insert Justin Fields as a backup. And we're going to see if we can win a game running this RPO zone peak every play. Obviously, guys, um, there might be some limitations. Like if it's a third or fourth and long, I'm probably going to have to pass, honestly, because, uh, you know, I don't think I could get it. And, you know, if my quarterbacks do get tired, there might be me, you know, running the ball a little bit with my running back or doing some other type of plays to get my fatigue back because we all know the fatigue in this game is kind of messed up. Uh, maybe it's just like that and we're just gonna have to get used to it I believe that the, that's the way it is but for now, you know kind of throws things out in the loop So this is the play I'm talking about guys. Uh, it is in Bengals Jaguars and Panthers and I'm sure you could rock out with any RPO zone peak um, and this is in the gun bunch strong formation uh, It's basically the uh, counter to gun bunch offset and you'll see it in the game So like I said, man, uh, if you do want to use this cheese your way to victory it's in the Panthers, the Jaguars, and the Bengals playbook. See right here, I'm going to have to sub in my guy, Justin Fields, in case Danny Jones does get tired. But look at Danny Jones' stats. I'm sure you already know he has 86 speed. I mean, he's insane. There are often times where, you know, his set feet lead is broken. That's the only knock on him, and it has cost me. But right here, we got Justin Fields at the backup with 87 speed if things go bad. Here's the defense also. I'll probably not show too many defensive clips in this game. Maybe just me getting the stops. It just depends on who we play. You know, the Xbox side is full of some hell games. I am in Legend tier. But let's get into the gameplay. Odds are, guys, if we play someone somewhat competent, this is not going to go well. But it's mutt head-to-head. -head. This isn't weekend league. This isn't a tournament. So I could care less if I get the loss. I really do want to just see how OP this run really is and kind of show you guys, maybe create some meta cheese. Um, I'm always down for the chaos in the mutt streets. And also, guys, while we're searching, if this gameplay does help you out in any types of way, please leave a like, sub, and comment what you guys want to see next. This could have potentially been a tip Tuesday, but hey, man, I'd rather show you guys in real, uh, you know, in real life, uh, in real time, I should say, and versus real people. I'm sure I can make it like a tip Tuesday or something on TikTok as well in the practice mode feature. And guys, look how long it's taking me to get a game. That's what happens when you get in that legend tier, especially on Xbox. Um, Mutt Street seem a little slow right now. I just want to play. I just want to run with Danny Jones. All right, guys, we finally found a game. So we're playing Orange Juice. I don't know if this is a lurk tag. It kind of does look like a lurk tag. But man, oh man, do I hope that I can, you know, abuse this RPO zone peak. I know this play is extremely cheesy. I've ran it a couple times in Weakling and people could not stop it. Um, but head to head legends tier might be a little different because in weekend league, you know, you're not matching up with the best personnel the best players And of course we're playing someone running trips tight end. Um, he doesn't have the best team. I think his top three was like Devonte Adams, I can't wait for him to get a new card honestly And then he had like Josh Allen right here, but he's running base. I mean base trips is pretty OP shot my guy spamming Right here guys, we're gonna mix up a little bit of man coverage and you know if he does score it is what it is You know, like I said, I just trying to get the ball on offense. I probably should have put receive ball To get the ball first obviously but once more in the man coverage um, He does have a couple route techs out there, but I know that will be all right and that's gonna be probably be a Tackle what a great juke honestly right here pretty good defense and route tech just fries us uh, We had pretty good defense out there and then I believe Devontae Adams. I mean, if you don't have route tech on him at least, I really don't know what you're doing because, you know, he is pretty slow out there. But um, right here, he's going to run that trap. And honestly, he's moving the ball pretty well. I just want to play offense, and I want to show you how cheesy this play is. This should be an RPO to the left side due to the fact that his guys are lined up a little bit inside. Never mind, it's going to look like he's going to pass. And wow, that might be a dot. And he overthrew it but still caught it. Wow. 
He ran a screen pass. We try to get a glitchy click on, but he's not going to get that many yards. Right here. I'm not even kidding. He is running the Pats tour, man. If you remember, they used to say the Raiders tour because everyone would audible from all the Raiders formations. This guy's in the Pats tour. Uh, U trips, slot offset, trips, bunch, you name it. This guy is running the Pats tour right now. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm about to get dotted, but we'll just have to see. Great defense, great defense, great defense, great defense. And he throws us a pick. I mean, I think I could crib this. Okay, now we could finally cook something up. And here it is, guys. Bunch, half pack strong. RPO zone peak. We're going to go on conservative because I do believe you have to be on conservative. Don't want to fumble whatsoever. Let's see how, truly how OP this run is for you guys today. Um, I'm not too sure. I think people do audibles or motions, but I'm just going to call it stock. And boom, there we go. We're going to pick up some blocks. I should have slid because you do get tired if you get hit even on balance or conservative. See right here, my quarterback is slightly fatigued. But that's why we have Justin Fields. So if Danny Jones gets tired whatsoever, we have his replacement pretty much the same speed. And once more, we're just going to call hike. Boom, call hike. And look at this, man. This is the most overpowered play in the game. Can we get out of there? Can we get out of there? Oh, we were so close to breaking that loose. I definitely should have... Uh, Maybe made a better move. Maybe just kept running outside. I thought he was gonna click on, and you know, be a real player. Click on. You know what I'm. You know what I'm talking about. People who click off. I don't click on all the time. But look at that man. He's just diving and whiffing. I understand not why now he didn't click on. He's in nickel normal now. I don't think this is gonna matter too much. We're gonna take it up off the left side. Pick up the blocks. We're gonna slide. Preserve some stamina. And look at this man. This drive has been so easy. Um, like I said, if you've been watching a lot of Madden streams, you know this play. You do know this play. And we could, we could actually run it as well. We decided to run it. Um, I kind of just broke the rules a little bit. I was going to run primarily only every play. But I'm going to run this play every play. We'll call it that. We'll, we'll, call, we'll just run this play every play. I accidentally held A. Um, if you do hold A, it will give you the ball. But look at that. Okay, I don't know what that was. I thought he was going to run up the uh, streak. Because it did look like he ran commit, but you know, we're fine. Third and three. This is easy money right here. Um, like I said, if, if the, the look is there, I'm going to pass to really show you guys how overpowered this play is. And right there, this is going to be easy touchdown for the boy. We're going to cut it up. And there he is, Justin Fields. Man, oh man, this play is way too easy. And you know we're going to go for two. We kn You know we're going for two. Let's get Danny Jones back in there, man. I know he's not as agile or fast as Justin Fields. Justin Fields feels super smooth. But, you know, I am going to be able to throw it if he run commits or whatever it may be. And uh, we got back. We got back right there. We kind of got a slow handoff. Maybe it's just Justin Fields. Um, he just played, I guess, sellout defense to it. But look at the success rate, man. We called it about five, six times that drive. Resulted in a touchdown. And, you know, you put someone with, I don't think fast breaks in the game yet. But, you know, we better hope it's not. Because once it drops, some people are going to run this play. Um, you know, and the, the thing I don't want to play is, you know, someone who could actually pass running this. Because, like I said, I'm not even passing. I'm in Panthers playbook. I could easily run double post or whatever the likes. Um, honestly, guys, I'm afraid he might quit. So we're going to soften up the defense a little bit. Because um, I don't, I'm not trying to run it back in another video. We're going to soften up the defense a little bit. Maybe let him score. And, yeah, that's perfect, man. That's really honestly perfect. We don't want to lose the game because, you know, the win streak and all that. Not, I'm not even on a win streak, but the record and all that. You don't want to play a game and lose it for the YouTube. So we're just going to soften up the defense a little bit. You know, maybe hold them to three would be pretty nice uh, because we do get ball at half. But nonetheless, I feel like this is already a dub. We got one stop in the red zone and things are looking good right now. So man up a couple people, you know, play a little soft defense. I could easily blitz this five wide. He probably still dot it knowing how this game works. But for now... I guess that's fine. I mean, that maybe should have been a pick, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Back to RPO zone peak we go. I don't believe there's a hash dependency on this play. Um, if, what that means basically is you don't have to be on a certain side of the field. I know with some of my play setups in the past, either, whether it be ebooks or tips, you have to be, you know, left side, right side, short side, long side. This really doesn't matter, man. You just call hike and you go right here. Easy yards. And, yeah, I'm going to have to um, sub in Justin Fields because Danny Jones is not fat. He just does not feel as, as smooth, and he is a little tired. He does not feel as smooth as number one Justin Fields. And he's number one, man. He got to be, you know, he got to be on the field. Look at that swag right there. Just 
Our team swag just went up so much when we subbed him in. Boom, we call the play again. And we decide to run it, actually. I mean, skates, question marks? Uh, you know, like I said, we're just going to run this play every play, whether the run's there, whether we could take off, or whether we even pass. We're running this play every play just to show you the whole diameters, the whole, you know, the whole nine yards, as they say. Like, everything about this play is so cheesy. Right here, he's going to sell out, but it's not going to matter. We're going to outrun everyone. We have a slant wide open. Uh, Justin Fields, take us to the promised land. And we'll take it. I know you're going to be tired now, but we're fine. We got a backup in Danny Jones. Two quarterback system, baby. And it's so glitchy because they're literally both the same speed. Like, obviously, uh, Fields definitely has better scrambler stats as in agility and all that. I really didn't even go into that, but he definitely feels way smoother. But Danny Jones, we're going to try to bounce it out. Minka, no, sir. You know, we'll take it. We got to the one. The clock is still ticking. This is looking nice. He ends up calling the timeout. And right here, I'm just going to take it up the middle, man. I'm going up the middle. Um, Danny Jones, you better truck someone. You better not trip like that Eagles game. You better just go up the middle and show them hell. <sighs> that was a bad stick on the left side. Okay, guys, I think I messed up. I called the wrong play, and I'm an idiot. I don't have audibles. Um, you know, we're just going to take off anyways. I, I can't call a timeout. I know you guys are thinking, just call a timeout. He called a timeout. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. I thought you could call a timeout. You couldn't call a timeout. I was trying to. And it wouldn't let me. Uh, that's a big mistake right there by me. But here we go, man. Justin Fields inserted into the game. I don't know where I want to take this left or right or even up the middle. We're just going to go with the flow. Right looking open. Do not get shoestring tackled. And Justin Fields with his second touchdown of the game. Danny Jones has been putting in work for us, man. Don't, trust me, he definitely has. But it's Justin Fields who I just need that slight bit of agility in the end zone, the red zone. And we're going for two again, man. Two-point conversions have not been successful. Left side looks super sweet. Cut it up. <laughs> Justin Fields. I do not know if Danny Jones could do that, man. That nice little cut. I wonder if he's going to show it. I wanted to see the replay. That was a nice little cut up field with Justin Fields, number one. And once more, I think I'm going to soften up the defense right here. Um, like I said, he had been dotting me that first drive. I'm not going to lie. But right here, we're going to hopefully just let him get three. I don't want it to be a sweat and him get seven, obviously. But, you know, if he got three right here, I'd be fine with it. Like I said, I'm just trying to avoid quit outs at this point. Um, this is actually going really well, in my opinion. Let me know if you guys enjoy this gameplay so far. I feel like it has been going pretty well. But uh, I just, I don't know, man. Let's just see if we could lock up a little bit. Hold the three would be fine. You know, if he, if he doesn't get any points either, that'd be cool. But... Right there, Minka, good in completion. I probably maybe should let him caught it. He only has one timeout. I'm sure he'll be able to dot me up with these zones. Just these zones, man. They're they're crazy. They're different, man. There's something else I, I could say. Right here, man. Just you know, nice little safe defense. I bet you he could still dot. That's that's honestly fine if he would have caught it, but he ends up dropping it. Right here, same thing again. He has Kyle Pitts, and we make the tackle. He's gonna probably settle for three, honestly. And my man's is kind of aggressive with it, man. He's trying to get some points before half, uh, seven. I don't know how I feel about that. We got caught on straight hand. Okay, nothing's open. I mean, that's kind of open, but now you don't get any points. I mean, should I call a timeout for the boy? I was about to call a timeout, but then he goes no huddle. Um, I don't know, man. This probably might be the last drive. I don't think he's gonna quit, man. He's been, you know, keeping up so far. And if you guys want to hear a funny story, man, um, EMB joke, shout out to joke. He made the final eight. They're, they're saying, I don't, I don't know if it's true. I probably do believe it. They're saying he ran this play every game in his win and get in game versus the guy he played and the guy he played could not stop it. So there it goes, man. Even pro players can't stop this play. It's so cheesy. Like you could throw that slant right there, man. Um, the defenders are just not reacting whatsoever. I really do wish I ran this in my tournament games. But, you know, offense is not why I lost. You'll see that video coming up very soon. I just want to show Kane some respect and not post it before he plays in the tournament because, you know, that's just dumb, man. If you were to post that game before he played, that'd be pretty dumb in my opinion. But look at this, man. Justin Fields, cut it up. We might be gone. We might be gone. Are we gone, chat? Are we gone? Justin Fields is a monster. Three touchdowns. And he's hyped, man. Uh, I don't know what celebration that was, but look at him. J.J. Watt. Wosu Kamaru, um, Jack Youngblood, Ed Reed, Fabian Moreau. Vita Vey was kind of keeping up. Look at number 50 right there. He was hawking me down a low key. But man, Justin Fields, I honestly can't wait to see him play in real life. Um, 
He definitely is obviously should be the bear starter. I don't know what's going to happen right there. But let's pass right here just to show you we could pass out of this play. This play is too good, man. Um, thank God they're going to patch it. If they patch it, I really don't know if they will. But, I mean, obviously it looks super broken. And, you know, I, I don't know if people running this in the tournament. I don't know if it's the same effect on all Madden. I know it's still pretty good on all Madden. But I don't know if it's the same as where, you know, dudes are completely dumbing out. This kind of rem reminds me of the heavy Panther days, man. Where your cor cornerbacks and safeties would keep drifting back. This was Madden 20. Um. Uh, a lot of nightmares playing like underrated king and like trey kings those guys were glitching with the heavy panther they were even passing out of it too but this kind of reminds me of it a little bit not to the complete extent this could be way better in my opinion as right here that could have been an acrobat by revis but this is way better because you could still pass out a bunch man bunch is the best offense in this year's game you don't know if it's a pass play coming you don't know if it's just a cheesy run play that this guy actually has had no chance at stopping and trust me like he think he knows what he's doing. It seems like on defense, he's running the popular sets on defense. Um, I try to get a nice click on, but you know it's fine if he scores. We get more rushes with that run. But yeah, man, this is a nice little video to put you guys on some free game. All I ask is maybe you hit that like sub if you haven't already. This play is so overpowered. And look at it, he's running it too. He's running it too. I don't know if it's the same type of thing. He he did have a lot of space, and there it is, RPO zone peak. He's running it too. He's like, you know what, bro? This dude's doing something. Let me see if I have an RPO zone peak. I, th I don't know if it works out of all of them. You know, they might. it definitely might be able to work out of all of them. But man, that was hilarious. Uh, he didn't run it again. He decides to run a play action. But I needed to see him run it again. Revis just can't get there. But, you know, we're chilling right now. Right here, man. I'm going to let him score if he decides to pass. And he does. We're going to let him score. Get a couple more stabs at it. Uh, see if he can actually stop it. And guys, like I said, I've seen people, pro people, pro players, they can't stop it themselves. I really don't know what defense you need to run besides just pray for a patch because, like I said, like you could just easily run bunch. And, you know, it's just kind of insane. It's right here. He ends up getting that. So, I mean, this game isn't completely over yet. I don't know how he was able to complete that with Josh Allen. You know, Danny Jones, I can understand that. Fields, I can understand that. But with Josh Allen, sheesh. And guys, what I'm hoping for too is that he doesn't quit. I really want to see the stat, see the stat lines. So, you know, if I start chewing clock, um, it's not because I'm afraid that I might lose. I just really want to see, see the stat line. Hope he really doesn't quit. Justin Fields back at it for his fourth or fifth drive. And look at that, man. The guys are just dumbing out. This might be another highlight play if I had any type of stick. Joff right there scores. Anyone with good stick right there scores. But look at that. He's allowed 253 yards on this play alone. And honestly, guys, I could probably run it up versus another player. Like, I'm talking scoring like 50 or so. Right there, he actually bagged it. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what that was. But that lo looked pretty good. Um, and if he starts bagging it, I'm just going to take the open reads. Because I know you guys saw that I had a wide open slant, wide open out route, that left side. And that this time, he's not able to bag it. I really want to throw the slant, man. I'll probably end up throwing it this play. I just really don't know how it works with the um, illegal man downfield because that does happen. I don't know if I could throw that slant or if I can't. Well, let's just see, man. We'll test our luck right here. Throw the slant if it is wide open. And he sells out. We throw the slant. And yeah, man, illegal man downfield. So that's tough. Uh, we were going to scream that too. I probably should have waited for it to be a fourth down or excuse me, a first down. But I mean, we still have our third down and fourth down lives. And like I said, man, this guy's kind of starting to bag it now. He may have found a defense. That guy is screaming through that A-gap. But right here, easy reads. We're going to get our first down. And, you know, we could score, but we're just going to keep running that ball, take that clock, and end this game right here and now. A lot of people will be buying Justin Fields after this game, man. Uh, just to say the least, it's a day one item, but he's still such a dog. And look at that, man. If they're selling out to the run, you hit A, you hold A, you throw, uh, hand it off. This play has it all, man. This play really does have it all. Boom. We take off. I mean, look at this, man. Justin Fields might go for his fourth touchdown of the game. And he's going to have his fourth touchdown. Put your fours in the chat, man. He does. He's too good. He is too good. You add this play with someone fast. someone who, And then you play someone who can't tackle. Look at my man's diving and wailing. Just completely whiffing with some of the best players in the game like Ed Reed. Revis, he just can't make a tackle. Boom, we're gonna run it. 
not the play call. Quentin Williams actually blows that up. And, you know, if this dude somehow scores and gets a stop and scores again, we, we, will, we will lose. But, I mean, I don't think I'll even care because no one can stop this play. Let me know if you guys have matched up with this man um, before I drop the video because I feel like a lot of people will be running this. This is literally free yards. Um, just get your weekend league wins. Get your head-to-head uh, -head wins. Get your coins up running this, man. We don't know how long it's going to be in the game for. So abuse it, free will, free power, because you know me, um, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'll definitely be running it a lot until, you know, maybe someone shows me they can stop it. But even then, you know, this, this play is still a nice, easy mix in to run. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I had a lot of fun recording this game. I know it's a solo game, but this play does bring a lot of fun into the mat game of Madden. I really don't, I really hope he doesn't quit, man. Uh, that be that's uh, he's gonna quit. Can we check the stats? Game stats. Go go go. Lost. We couldn't check the stat line, man. I'm kind of, I'm kind of salty about that, man. But someone probably could do the calculations on how many stats I had with Justin Fields. Um, I know for a fact we had four t rushing test sounds with Fields. If someone wants to do the math and count up how many yards I had with both my QBs, that'd be a glitch. I'll pin it in that. I'll I'll show it the comment in the next video that we run. But yeah, man, I had a lot of fun running that game, um, showing you that cheese play. And, you know, use it for your free will, man, because people will probably run it against you.